Okay, hi everybody, this is Rebecca. Um, I'm going to walk you through how to make a Vimeo video to attach into Posado from a Vivi or any other video that you make. So you just go and you download it. Um, you've already made it out. And as you see, I've already downloaded it. And you go over to Vimeo, you just log into your account, you hit upload, and from there um, you can either click or choose files or drag and drop like I'm going to do for my download set. And it's going to go through. And from there, you add all the information in, hit save, once it's uploaded, it's going to go, you say go to that link, and once it's completed, it's going to convert to everything. So I'm inside Dubsado, I made a scheduler, 15 minutes, I've already got all my dates planned out, and then I also planned out the time slots, the booking retainer, all of that, and I've got the link, so you can see it, but then you finished, made sure it looked good. Go back to home. So you go to all videos. And from there, you're going to change the embedded settings. So it's going to give you a couple options. You hit embed. You go on over. And I just turned everything off. I didn't want anybody to see anything. I just want it to be a full screen video and whatever I've got. So turn off likes, watch, share, embedded. Just turn all of it off. Just hide all my details. No custom color. I'm good. Save. Okay. And it's going to give you that link. Then what you do with that link is you wait for it to load and you hit share. And it's going to give you some sharing options. You want to hit the embedded iframe down there. You want to copy that code and you've got options. So you can make it responsive. You can make it play in a loop, show the video, and then show text. Take all of that, go into your Dubsado form. You're going to have something that's called a code box. I've already loaded mine. So I'm going to show you my settings right now as you clear out whatever invoice. If you're using scheduler, you don't need to do that. I've got my contract, got all that set up. And you go back up to form. And then we are going to go add in. Yep, I've got everything there. Add in a code box. It says, hello world. Take that out. That was the link. I got that. Let's put my code box in. Okay, so you copy and paste what the shared option was, and it's right there. And so I'm going to add my logo up to the top. You can shrink the size. You can change it up. Just need that at the top. And then I'm going to move up a code box that I created um, that technically has text applied to it. But it doesn't matter right now. I just want to use it for white spacing. And then I'm going to add my promo image down at the bottom that started the video out. That was just my intro. And so we've got all of that. And there is the finished form. All nice, all pretty. You got the video that plays all the way through. There is music with it. And then you've got your information and their booking, and it's really nice. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for more tips.